right, I think we are live, I believe. Maybe uh, maybe somebody raises a hand. Um, anyway, well, good evening, everybody. Uh, it's Sunday night, so I appreciate everybody uh, joining the session uh, and getting to spend a few minutes to talk about uh, data and, and the role it plays uh, in, a, in, in our world and at Kroger and, and what it means uh, for the future from a career perspective. Um, so maybe switch to the slide and, and you know share some of the content uh, that we have prepared. But let's just maybe power through this relatively quickly, um, and uh, and turn it over to uh, maybe get some questions from the group. And I cannot. Uh, it my my video feed is frozen again, so I do not know if we're on slides and if somebody could give me an indication. Now I've lost. The... Here we go. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, next slide, please. So we'll we'll talk about three key topics. One is um, the role of data in our world, uh, how it plays a key role at Kroger as well, just to kind of bring some of these examples to life. Uh, and then lastly, we'll uh, talk about some of the uh, evolution or the impact on career opportunities moving forward. Uh, next slide. And I'll, I'll try to go uh, relatively quickly. We can come back on any of these uh, topics later. So next slide. Let's start with the, the role of data in our world. And you know, all of us here, uh, all of you uh, watching this uh, discussion tonight uh, are contributing to a massive amount of data creation. It starts from the moment we get up, look at a phone, um, use any of our connected devices in a home, um, in our cars. This is generating billions and billions and billions of data records, all of which get uh, uh, computed, com uh, processed by uh, various partners, various entities uh, to make our lives better and drive uh, some engagement, some form of engagement. You can think about billions of queries uh, uh, through Google every single day, every 60 seconds. I think it's four, over 4 billion uh, search query on Google. Um, you know, millions and millions of hours being watched every single day on Netflix. Uh, and, and the list goes on. The point being, data has become, uh, whether we recognize it or not, has become a critical part of our everyday life. Data is created by us and it's also leveraged by us. Uh, companies, businesses and services that are able to take advantage of that data uh, to better understand what matters to a consumer, what matters to a specific business process, are able to gain an advantage and really, really uh, deliver differentiated services. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it. But the key point is massive amount of data uh, ranging from um, uh, data we create either knowingly or uh, uh, unknowingly through our day-to-day -day interactions with technology. That digitization of the world over the past you know, 20, 30 years has created massive amount of data and therefore many opportunities to, to impact our daily lives. Uh, next slide. The, the key point maybe to emphasize here is that there are some natural um, um, data uh, elements that we can think of every day. We know that when we um, use you know, Facebook or some social uh, media network, uh, we know we are contributing to the creation of data. I think increasingly over the past 10 plus years, the connected nature of the technology in our houses has also contributed to massive, massive uh, growth of data creation. And specifically, you know, I'll, I'll use an example. Um, every every uh, day, um, your the temperature may be tracked, and that's what helps us to regulate the temperature at home. And then it evolved into that connected uh, thermostat then tracks that data and maybe adjusts the temperature or gives us the ability to create rules in our life and says, well, if the, uh, like it is right now, if the temperature drops below a certain uh, level, actually uh, keep the heat uh, higher uh, for an extended amount of time or start heating up the house uh, uh, sooner or the apartment sooner. Uh, similarly, based on where I am, my location, I can trigger uh, the heating um, or cooling of a specific uh, location. The idea is 
the advancement, the digitization of our lives is not just application that we use every day. It's also technology that surrounds you and, and makes our lives easier uh, on, a, on a day to day basis. And that also contributes to massive uh, volume growth of the data around us. Uh, next slide. The last point um, I want to make, or second to last point I want to make on data is that it's more and more important uh, for us as we look at the value of data to impact everybody's lives and, and in a positive way. It's more and more important to really connect these assets. Uh, it used to be, you know, sticking to my uh, maybe boring example of temperature, it used to be like, you know, knowing the temperature was enough because we knew that the relevance of that temperature data point was to me in that moment in time. But if I said it's cold or if it's, you know, minus 10 degrees, the relevance of that data point needs to be combined with the location where I'm at. You know, if I am in Cincinnati and it's minus 10 degrees, okay, that gives some perspective. But also the season, if it's minus 10 degree in February versus August, two completely uh, different scenario and therefore actions that should be taken either by an individual or by, by a business. The point being, it's increasingly uh, critical to look at data, not as one data point, but across multiple sensors, multiple signals to really derive the intelligence that can be uh, derived from that data. Uh, an example in our world is um, ingredients of a specific food is important. People want to know either because of uh, health uh, concerns or, or diet uh, preferences. People want to, so we, we started creating very rich uh, ingredients data around all the products we sell in a grocery store. Then we started flagging if you have uh, nuts allergies, you know, here is maybe a shortcut instead of reading all the data points. Here is the specific uh, items or products that may have or may have been exposed to uh, nuts that could trigger allergic uh, reaction. The next level is to actually look at, okay, I know the ingredients. I know it can trigger allergy for somebody. Let's make it personal. Let's understand what is potentially triggering allergic reaction for me and expose that data. If I'm not allergic to nuts, why bother? Why flood me with information about, you know, nuts, allergens in a specific product? But if I'm allergic to, you know, eggs, then it's absolutely critical the moment I'm intending to buy or I'm buying a product to alert me of that of that uh, potential risk and, and danger. So again, pointing out the fact that the value of data, the data we create through application, through the digitization of our life, the uh, the value of data created through all the sensors, the hardware, the technology we use around us, and the value of the combined data is is a critical uh, part of the equation that we need to continue to look at. And then the last point I want to make is um, uh, maybe next slide is with the vast creation of data, we also have new responsibilities. We as individuals and members of a community and society, we have to really make sure we continue to ensure that the data is used for the better goods, for positive impact. It is very easy to actually misuse data. And I think we'll talk about that a little bit when, we, when I share some of our priorities as Kroger. It's absolutely important to stay true to these principles, to make sure that the data is used to improve something, enhance somebody's life, enhance somebody's safety or health, not necessarily manipulate, which, you know, with the abundance of creation of data and how it can be ingested in our lives, there is a risk of controlling the outcome of a specific action or specific uh, uh, algorithm. And we'll talk about that in a bit um, by influencing or manipulating that data. Equally important uh, and increasingly uh, difficult to manage is the security around that data. Uh, as is shown, you know, every single day there is a new uh, point of exposure and it's really, really hard to con to keep up with, you know, quote unquote, the bad actors that are after collecting or stealing that data, either just as a, a point of information to uh, compromise an individual uh, or an in individual's, you know, banking accounts and things of that nature, or to have a broader impact as we've seen uh, recently, for example, in Florida, with the uh, the water supply um, being compromised by 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 a threat actor who had taken over control 
of all the technology that controls the the chemicals that go in the water supply all of that started through some uh, you know uh, intrusion in a, in a um so that was kind of the the high level if we go to the next slide i'll, I'll spend a quick minute on uh, on the impact and the role of data at koga uh, maybe next slide First, why does it matter? I, I want to point out, and that will tee us up for the conversation on the career uh, dimension as it relates to data. Data is in everything we do. It we every single day, every single team is looking for opportunities to improve what we do, whether it's a service to a customer or uh, how we optimize our supply chain to make sure we look at trends and you know specific products demand in a, in a given market and make sure we we order and 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 uh, supply these products to that market whether it's employees helping them understand career opportunities by collecting data on their aspiration their goals their education and helping them develop that that uh, that growth plan uh, it could be in finance really monitoring precisely the performance of a specific aspect of the business to constantly adjust uh, how we make decisions and, and drive uh, and drive our operations or it could be you know, customer facing, if you go to the next slide and look at uh, how we leverage data to help our customers, I would I would put it maybe simply into um, one sentence, which is everything we do as it relates to customer data, which is a massive, massive data asset, is anchored in how can we help make the customer's life easier, better. That means simplify their grocery shopping experience um, simplify you know their shopping or make it more convenient for them to find items that are particularly relevant to them more personalized to them if i love chicken and cheese and bread um, then i will naturally start getting exposed to more of these products or products like it uh, if i never uh, drink uh, carbonated soft drink coca-cola or pepsi cola uh, products then um, they will no longer necessarily be exposed to me uh, when I go on our uh, website or, or mobile app. Similarly, uh, with the value, which is uh, every customer is always looking for a value opportunity, and it's either uh, to get more um, uh, for a specific budget, for a specific week, or get exposed to new products uh, without necessarily breaking the bank. So one of our objective leveraging data is to personalize uh, not just how you shop and help you uh, do your grocery shopping quickly, but also how do we surface, how we bring uh, to the forefront uh, offers um, that are more relevant to you. Again, to my example, if I'm, you know, if I love chicken, then and there is a chicken uh, a supplier who has an offer available then present me with that offer not necessarily an offer of a product that may be less relevant to me data across both our business and our customer uh, engagement is absolutely uh, ubiquitous it is everywhere it is I know the the team uh, we talk about you know data is the new oil as a, a commodity that fuels everything we also like to talk about data like water, which is water is ubiquitous. It need it is it needs to be available and it is available in everything we do. And taking advantage of it, you know, can have a, a pretty uh, positive impact on on the communities we serve and on our business. Um, the next slide, uh, real quick. I'll talk yep yeah, here you go thank you i want to point out two things one is as we discussed just now um we leverage data to optimize and improve the quality of the customer experience and also improve the quality of our business operations increasingly as a business we also are looking uh, for opportunities to uh, commercialize some of that insight. For example, um, you know, being able to really precisely understand customers who shop Kroger or shop a specific category is critical, and that's important for Kroger, and that's important for our customers who appreciate the personalization of that engagement. But it's also important for our CPG partners, companies who provide the product that we put on the shelf and sell to our customers. It's important to them so that they can constantly adapt and innovate with products that are uh, more relevant, more um, 
uh, applicable to our customers. So one of the, 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 the investment and the efforts of the past few years has been around um, monetizing, selling some of that insight and the potential to activate on, on some of that insight through media uh, to, our, to our suppliers, to our partners. Uh, next slide. Um, we talked about that so I'll, uh, already, so I'll, I'll touch on this very quickly, but it's absolutely critical, no matter the car year, no matter the business, um, nobody can ever go back on their principle. And our principle is everything we do with the customer data has to benefit the customer. It has to drive better impact, better quality of experience for our customers, and we'll never compromise on that. You, I mean, nobody can, should afford to ever uh, violate that trust from the customer. And that's a absolutely fundamental, non-negotiable uh, dimension of what we do with our data. Section is around um, the career and, and, and I would, because we, we're going to run out of time, I want to make sure we open up for uh, questions. I, I would just say I don't think there is any role in any career that would not uh, benefit from leveraging data. And I think that may sound like um, crazy a little bit, but having a career in data doesn't mean it's all about math and science and technology. Um, having a career in data means uh, understanding the value of data. And, you know, if you're really into building the computer models, the, the algorithm that will help drive that, that science, that answer, that's one thing. But there's the flip side of that, which is how do you bring that story to life? How do you, you know, help articulate the insight so that people can take advantage of it? There's also the, I don't know how to write the program, but I want the insight. I want that information to make better decisions in my, in my job. So I think it's important to recognize that data will be and is already, but will continue to be everywhere, no matter what the role is. And as you think about potential careers in, in IT and technology and, and data related roles, your role will have an impact on any industry. It's, you know, retail is, is a good example of an industry that has massive amount of data and data assets. But, you know, you name it, there is not one industry today, not one company today that does not benefit from data, data science and embedding that data insight into their business processes. And, you know, when, when I look at our business and, and Kroger and, and the career opportunity, you can go to the next uh, two slides from now. We have roles um, uh, ranging uh, from computer science analyst to uh, information security, back to my point about Help learning how to secure that data, make the data available without compromising it, uh, developing the technology that will either create the data, um, think about a sensor, or consume the data, which also could be a sensor that adapts uh, the light or the temperature based on the on the signals that is being captured in the environment. Scientists who will build algorithms to help uh, process massive volume of data to extract the learning, to extract the the nugget of information that will most uh, impact the business. And then the software uh, developers um, branch as well, which is, I think is important to highlight that I don't think there's any uh, anybody who's building a piece of software today or, or an application without thinking about the role of data and how to take advantage of the, the data asset that can be collected or created and collected to constantly improve the, the performance of, uh, of the software. So. Um, lastly, but not least, um, I want to reiterate our commitment. Uh, if you go to the next slide, as Kroger, we um, we have uh, been uh, investing uh, uh, enormously in technology and data innovation uh, to constantly improve the quality of our customer experience, but also the quality of our associates' experience. Everybody who works within the Kroger uh, family. And, uh, and and innovating technology to uh, you know stay ahead of uh, of the curve and 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 be here for our customers as they constantly evolve how they shop and and how they eat. So these these were really the the key points we were uh, wanting to cover today. Um, obviously, not the easiest uh, 
uh, thing to do in this format over video. But I don't know, uh, Randy or the team, if uh, if there's any question or if there's any uh, even a way of, of collecting any question or if there's any topic uh, you wanted me to uh, uh, dive into in the last few minutes we have. I will take the silence as either somebody is on mute or uh, there are no questions. Well, I'll, I'll make one last comment uh, if we don't have any questions. Um, I, when I was uh, in high school or in college, I don't think I would ever have uh, said, oh, I'm going to have a career um, where data and technology will be critical. Uh, and here I am, I could not tell you that there has been any role in my entire career where data and technology were not critical. There have been. And I would look at my job today really as a facilitator helping bring um, technology and data to a business to help transform either an experience or a business process. And um, to the extent you have the passion for it uh, that you like, uh, what data can do, whether you're going to you know, manage the data, so more on the technical side, or take advantage uh, of data, more on the business and analytical side. Um, there is a huge, bright feature in, 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 your, uh, in your cards. Uh, data is, is going to be a, a massive uh, asset and, and differentiating asset for many, many years to come. So I, uh, I wish you all the best. I hope this was... Uh, uh, sharing some perspective that was useful, and uh, I'll uh, I'll go on mute at this point. I think uh, that concludes uh, that concludes our session. Have a good one and stay safe.